everybody. Check out this little beauty, green pit viper. So these snakes found right throughout Southeast Asia, and there are more than eight or nine species of them, depending where you are. Where we are in this particular spot, there's only one. His name is Trimerosaurus insularis, and this one actually has a red eye. And they are a pit viper species, so he has pits, heat sensing pits between his eyes and his nostrils, which enable him to pick up even a even a tenth of a degree in temperature change. This is a beautiful green one. They can also be blue in some areas. And he's more of a nighttime, nocturnal, active snake. On nighttime, they'll come down on the ground and they'll hunt. In the daytime, he'll go right up into the trees and he'll sleep up in the trees there. So they're arboreal. You can see on the end of his tail here, has uh, a brown color. Now, brown or red tail doesn't necessarily mean it's a venomous snake. The red tail rat snake has that. But this guy has a triangle shaped head, so he's quite a bit different. And the red tail rat snakes are mainly daytime active with a round pupil. These guys have an elliptical pupil. So most of our nocturnal species have an elliptical pupil or a cat's eye. So it's a vertical pupil. Beautiful snake, excellent camouflage. Now what they do is they triangulate their prey. They'll use the heat sensing pits to follow his prey. They'll use the tongue to smell the air. It picks up the scent particles. The reason that the tongue is actually forked is if he's following a scent and it's stronger to the left, the left part of the tongue will actually pick up the strong scent and will turn the snake to the left and then he'll follow the prey. Now sometimes they're a bit cranky, these snakes. Sometimes they're really mellow. This guy's pretty mellow. Um, he is from the viper family, so he has hinged folding back fangs. Now they're in two little sheaths at the top of his mouth and he'll open those up when he strikes. What they'll do is they send those fangs deep into their prey items. He loves to eat frogs. He will also eat geckos and also small rodents and warm-blooded mammals. And that's why he has the heat sensing pits that enable him to pick up that heat. Now, got to be a little bit careful because the heat from my breath, he can pick that up. But he didn't strike then, he actually just lost his balance a little bit. So he's not being aggressive. However, I'm not going to free handle him. I wouldn't recommend free handling any vipers. But he's a cool snake. And these ones get to just over a meter in length. And depending on the species, they're mainly oviparous. And what the female will do is she'll lay her eggs in the bottom of a massive bamboo area and then they'll actually hang around and protect whoo, protect those eggs as well. They generally stay in the same area. When they hatch out, the little ones will hang around in the same area of bamboo with the mum for a while and then eventually they'll make their way off into the jungle like this guy here is about to do. So. I'll give you a bit of a demonstration of how awesome they are at climbing and how awesome his camouflage is. Alrighty, there we go. One more snake. One more green viper back to the wild. Thanks for joining us guys, Awesome Animals TV. Make sure you subscribe and join us on our next adventure. Remember, keep it wild and I'll catch you next time. Uh, look at this little ripper. Beautiful little juvenile ring pit viper. He's just a little guy, he's about a year old. And when he's full grown, he'll get to about a metre. So, awesome little arboreal snake, very good at climbing. In the daytime, he'll be up sleeping in the trees and the bushes, keeping cool, away from predators. And then in the nighttime, they'll start moving around. So he'll go through the trees. If he finds any sleeping baby birds or geckos or frogs, he'll grab those, yum, 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 for dinner. Uh, he, 
heat sensing kits between the eye and the nose that enables him to detect his warm blooded prey when he gets rodents or other small mammals and that beautiful green camouflage. Now they are venomous, he's from the viper family uh, the venom is mainly hematoxin and it's quite weak. This particular species, there's no uh, human deaths from them. I've, I've got friends that have been bitten by these snakes and it's been like a wasp sting, a bit of swelling. Other people have had different reactions, but you never really know. It depends on what the reaction is to the venom. But the name of the game is just don't get bit like all those other experts on YouTube that have their Here's Me in the Hospital videos. We don't want to do one of those. So little red tail, a brown tail, and this is Trimerosaurus insularis. This guy is found uh, right throughout Southeast Asia, across the Bali, through the Komodos as well. Yeah, he's just a little guy, he wants to go back up in the trees, so what we'll do is we'll pop him up here, and we'll give you a bit of an idea on how good he is at climbing. If our cameraman can reach up there, we can get a... Look at that. Just gone inside. Phew. There you go, fella. Go up the tree there and have a sleep. Alrighty guys, there we go. Alrighty guys, there we go. One more green viper back to the wild. Thanks for joining us here. Awesome Animals TV guys. Please subscribe, share our videos. Remember, keep it wild and I'll catch you next time.